Peyton Robertson, our 2013 grand prize winner, who is here to pass the torch. Peyton. Thank you. Wow. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll have to start with a quote from Einstein, just like, um, just like she finished <laughs> with. So Einstein once famously said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And all of the finalists here tonight had that spoke of imagination, that aha moment where they changed a simple idea into something extraordinary. And it is this process of imagination and innovation that makes this young scientist challenge so special. So congratulations to all the finalists here tonight. Each of you did an amazing job today, and the time and effort you put into your presentations was obvious. Congratulations. While one of you will be named America's top young scientist, you all have amazing journeys ahead of you. A finalist from 2011 won the Intel Prize. A finalist from last year now heads on innovation in stores. Three years ago, I watched Burden Benedict win this challenge with his design for a better football helmet, and I was inspired to invent something of my own. There are probably middle schoolers who watched your presentations today and who will be sitting here next year because your presentations captured their imagination and inspired them to follow their interest in science. So on behalf of everyone here, I want to thank everyone who makes the Young Scientist Challenge possible. And to the mentors who generously give their time over the summer and fall, I bid thank you from all of us who have benefited. I had lunch today and sat on the bus with the finalists, and all of them said that they had the best mentor. I'm not sure, that, I'm not, I'm not sure that's mathematically possible, as you guys can see, but I feel the same way. I call my mentor, Dr. Hardy, my mentor for life. So next year, mentors, when the challenge asks you for summer commitment, know that you're actually adopting a middle schooler for life. <laughs> and, and to the finalists of the marriage's top year in scientists, in a few minutes, I hope, um, you know, enjoy every minute of this next year. I've been humbled by the amazing opportunities of the past year, laughing with Ellen on her show, meeting Grant Hill at the Final Four Summit, and talking science with the President of the United States at the White House Science Fair have, has all been so amazing and so humbling and such honors. You know, while challenging Mr. Goodwin to the, um, and Dr. Hardy to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge was also fun. Um, I, you know, the best part has been sharing the importance of science with other young people around the country. And at its heart, this is what the Young Scientist Challenge is all about. Your imagination and, and accomplishments will inspire thousands of young people around the country. So thanks again to all who made the Young Scientist Challenge possible, and congratulations and good luck to all the 10 finalists here tonight.